this is Curse of the Fire and the Kid episode number 911, right? And people are saying that Bill Bellamy just kind of got up randomly. No, not randomly. Towards the end of the show, I guess. Or when they were wrapping up and just decided to leave. He didn't even wait for them to like tell him he could leave. He just got up and left himself. Um, let me see if I can find it. Is that the end of the show? I think they were probably hyping it, weren't they? Okay, there it is at the end. There, there he is here at the end. He just kind of got up towards the end and didn't really say too much. I think when they were all plugging their dates. So let's actually watch that bit of the fucking clip. I think this might be pretty, pretty cool. Mom, he was really quiet. He kept to himself. It's always He that. never bothered anybody. There's a trailer of a movie I'm not allowed to. No, we can't promote. <laughs> He's on Love Solo. I'm allowed to promote it. Oh, Am I? Can. Or maybe not. How good was Wesley Snipes in that Kevin Hart series on Netflix? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I forgot about good. that. He was true so story. Damn, he was good. True no, story. True story. That was a great. Yo, that was a He's good. Great. Wesley Snipes. Snipes. How that didn't get more actor. attention, I have no clue. What's he, what he's cool as shit, too, right? Snipes told me, which is a bizarre, bizarre fact. His character, Blade, saved Marvel. Really? Marvel was, mm -hmm. Marvel was on the way down. Wow. Especially at that time. Yeah, hell yeah. Marvel was on the way down, and they didn't know that the Blade would work. Blade pulled Marvel out the ground. To what it is now, man. Wow. I didn't even know if uh, Blade was a Marvel comic. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm not even that kind of guy and no homo and I don't really care about, care about this sort of shit. But yo, Bill Benjamin needs to like not wear sweats when he's going on podcasts because I can't take my eyes off my guy's piece. It's just dangling in there, isn't it? He's got his legs fucking spread eagle. He's doing the old man spreading shit and you just can't take your eyes off his little fucking man meat. You know what I mean? Like he needs to probably put on some jeans or some trousers or some shit. Because fuck me, Bill Bellamy. <laughs> he can't wear those sweats to podcast. Please, for the, for the love of God, this is a fucking children's zone. You know what I mean? I'm only fucking 16. That thing is fucking hanging. Yeah. Did you know I, Mar didn't, I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was a, a Marvel he character. He spent three years in jail or something, right? Is that how long? Less than that. I think he, he, I think he liked it too. Yeah, long That's weekend. a long time. Yeah. And he paid. And he paid. And he still had to go to jail. And he's, but he's got money now, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool. He's but I'm good. saying, like, he said... He's a good guy, man, right? Just, you know these guys don't hang around and fight black people because you can already tell he's kind of over it. He kind of wants to go home. But they're still fucking talking. You know what I mean? If, you, if, you've hung, if you've hung around fucking, you know, enough fucking blacks and enough of us fucking Africans and niggas, you'll know, right? When we're done, we're done. And he's giving these little sly little signs that he's kind of over it. he kind of wants to go home but they're just still talking rapping on wasting his fucking time talking about fucking where's his slaps that they give a shit but he wants to go home already so i'm eager to see how he just gets up here yes. now wesley's a guy That's who nuts. came up through he came up through the new york acting yeah. program like yeah. he's a trained thesbian real deal like he can dance he's he such can a good all. actor martial arts to wong fu what he's, he's, he's got it all <laughs> So what do you guys do now? After now you guys, go I go home. home. You go home. You chill. Yeah, I go man. work out. And then I go home. Yeah. What kind of workout you doing? I do a twenty-minute thing with a sixty-five-year-old strong man in a in a parking lot. Sounds gay. It's just body maintenance. So what he just throws you around? <laughs> just like wrestle and I stuff. Do, no, yeah, I would do some light wrestling. Little oil. I just do different like circuit stuff. So one day I'll do deadlifts, pull-ups, dips, whatever it might be. It, I never know. It sucks. So he just it's throws a, it's a method. tough twenty minutes. It's only twenty. Yeah, but it's a bitch. Like you he, look jacked. It's it working. Thank you, man. I'm very jacked. No, but it, but that's that's it. That's it. Even if you wanted to put on muscle and really get serious, he'd work you out twenty minutes, twenty five minutes. But the way he does it, you you you. It's like that CrossFit stuff, but it, he doesn't believe in CrossFit because you get injured. But right, like the way he does it is is I'm I'm well, done. You Bill, you're uh, in August. You're in uh, Denver Improv Comedy Theater. Where's that at yeah, in Denver? This fucking podcast. Uh, you know, in, I'm honestly, I'm no one to mention. I'm not one to talk about it because I'm just a fucking very small minuscule minor off of the side of the fucking internet content creator wherever i'm fucking am but this podcast is fucking brutal we've just skipped don't go right the majority of it and we're just towards the end we want to see bill bellamy just get up and leave but god almighty mate this is like legitimately horrendous con this this reminds me of like you know when you get stuck in a fucking kitchen with a work colleague you don't really speak to that often but you just need to kind of have a bit of small chat while you're fucking i don't know pot noodles in the fucking microwave or some shit this is the kind of conversation it kind of reminds you of this aimless you know chitty chatter just to waste time 
neither of you actually want to be there and neither of you also talk to each other but you just have to kind of you know exchange some words because you happen to be in the same physical space god almighty August, where am i now I, where is because you're in helium st you? louis helium coming up july 27th through the 29th uh, is improv in denver denver improv comedy theater no yeah they yeah it's a new it's, one it's a denver improv yeah because they got you know they, the other one they have is called comedy Works. yeah i yeah, just did that I've been, yeah, yeah we've done comedy works, uh, do comedy works i haven't done i haven't done comedy works in about 10 years he moves the, he moves i did it when i was on the last time I did it, I was He's hosting about to leave the look at Damn. It. Yeah. I think that was 2000. So you're doing dangling. A theater, though. That's the theater. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a comedy theater. I got a couple theaters in there, like. Um, Go down, Chin. Scroll up mm -hmm. a little bit. Scroll, scroll up, up. Scroll up. So that, that's August, um, September, and October. I got some theaters in there. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm doing that. I'm doing it. that Peacock Theater here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Raleigh. What hey, the fuck is Cap, the show? Cap City would be fun. Cap City, I'm, I'm going to be the there uh, August 3rd, 4th, 5th. Excited. That's a nice room, um, Levity Live. Yes, it is. I've never done it in, in yeah, West yeah, Nyack. Yeah. Oh, what's this um, courtesy of Severa Design? Big up you, my guy. You know, one thing I've noticed no one has been mentioning is that Bobby Lee Voice, Brendan has now um, started calling out guest show dates instead of letting them plug. I haven't noticed that at all. To be fair, I don't watch the show. I need to probably start watching the show and doing live streams of it, actually going through the entire thing because I'm sure there's stuff that I miss out on that doesn't even get posted on the Fire and the Kids sub. I probably need to start doing that, to be fair. But I didn't know that. That's a bit of a weird thing to do, isn't it? Like telling, plugging people's dates for them. I think most comedians do. Hey, to be fair, I quite like what Fingy does. I'm not going to lie. I quite like um, what Luis J. Gomez does on his show, rap and maybe a few others, where he introduces the guests at the beginning and then lets them do their plugs. Like, okay, like, tell us, you know, where they can find you, what you got going on in the beginning of the show. They get out of the way, then they just go on with the show. I kind of like that. I don't know if they do it again in the end, but I kind of like how they just do it at the end, at the beginning, and just get out of the way. Personally, if it was me, I think most comedy shows, because I don't know, these guys are obsessed with fucking selling tickets and doing shows, but I don't really ever listen to the shows that they do and where they go. Maybe because I'm not in America, it's a bit different, but I would prefer if they just did the show, be amazingly funny, and then say, hey guys, if you want to see me come do comedy next, you know, when you're near a town near you, go to my website, wherever the URL is, and see if I've got any dates near there. And if you've got suggestions, there's a suggestion box. Just say that. You don't need to list all your fucking dates. You know what I mean? Every single one in fucking detail. It's fucking annoying, um, obnoxious, exhausting, exhausting, self-obsessed, um, and just fucking annoying. Yeah, that yeah you like it. It's just beautiful. The way they got it set up is mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, I've heard good things. Uh, Columbus is set up nice. Yep. Yep, Party I'm Bob. Columbus. Yep, nice I'm there in room. August. Yep. Uh, you know what I just did that's a really nice room that you guys would like? Uh, <laughs> Milwaukee. Oh, bro, it's Milwaukee a new one. Right? Bro. bro, when's that time you did it? It's have been you, it's been almost two years now. It's no, no, they, a year, they, a year. Uh, have you done since they reopened it? Right? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Oh, it might be the best God. improv. I met a, did you open that club? Yeah. Okay, because I was right behind you. Yeah. So it's been. Two I was years. one of the first ones, but yeah. that that club is dope. Dope. <laughs> you could, it's you could, you could, you I, yeah. You, I walked down. I was like in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. That's what I. What are we doing? Yeah, man. That's a good. The food's dope. It looks like a. Theater, yeah, it's a big there, room. Uh, the staff is, is like good. The Stress is Factory, small. New Brunswick, New Jersey. Walkie's a sleeper, Brand. man. Huh? Vinny. Yo, Vinny, Vinny Brand. Brand. Yeah. Oh, Vinny. So this right here is a uh, big show, October this 8th. Podcast, oh, the Atlantic uh, City Comedy Festival. Bruce yeah, Bruce, yeah. Savage, Crawford so Savage, go, you. I gotta go from South Carolina to Philly. Bro. I don't know how I'm going to do that. All that travel. That's a mm. big... That's a do big, you get tired of the travel? Because I do. Yeah, but not like... I, like I try to take off a little bit. Like, you done? Right you done with us? Like <laughs> you done? Yeah, I thought you said it was over. Yeah, it's over. Oh, it's over. All right. Yeah. Sign out or no? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're done. Bill Bellamy, everybody, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, go see him. Oh no! Look at fucking Brian's cuck face. You see Brian's cuck face. You see Brian's face when he's talking to black. They've all got a, a really different, a different um, demeanor. When they're talking to like black people, isn't it, right? Like Brian's got his little like, you know, he tries to be like a little bit of a bro. Brendan does that thing as well. But look at Brian's face. Look at Brian's little like reach up like ah it's like little look at his little face. Look at his little old face. Look, look, look. Sign out or no? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're done. <laughs> Bill Bellamy, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's the face he makes when he doesn't see Brent Joe Rogan in like six weeks. Oh, so all right. Yeah. 
Sign out or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're done. <laughs> Bill Bellamy, everybody. Look at that face. That's Look at that face. <laughs> My nigga. That's what he wants to say, isn't it? My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Look at redacted. <laughs> Look at that, my nigga. What's good, brother? Man, what's good, my fucking brother? What's good, my fellow colored? <laughs> he wants to say some words there. Yo, the emancipation was fucking wild. <laughs> I'm all for affirmative <laughs> affirmative action. <laughs> Why can't Black History Month be two months? How come the gays can have a whole month and you guys get 28 days? <laughs> Oh my god, I love Kendrick Lamar, you know? <laughs> That's his face. I love Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his little face. Look at his little face. Ladies and gentlemen, go see him. You're the best, man. No, you like me. <laughs> no problem. He's touching it. No problem. No problem. Oh, but Bill Bellamy got up there like a fucking G. Midway through the conversation, he just stood up. Oh, that was fucking perfect, man. That was absolutely... That's my time, man. He just hey, can't bro, talk about myself. Man. You walk off like Biden? <laughs> Brennan was kind of offended in the middle. He's kind of offended. He gets a bit pissed off. Brennan gets a bit pissed off. Look, yeah, look but Brennan's not like I, like... I try to take off a little bit. Like You like, don't? You, know, you done with us? Like, Before he checks out his piece, nice. He gives a little, he gives, he gives a little back. He gives the bum and the piece a good little once over. But he's not too happy. I, like I try to take off a little bit, like you like, done. Yeah, you like, done with us? You done? Yeah, I thought you said it was over. Yeah, it's over. Oh, it's over. <laughs> look, it, it gives Brian the look. Like, look at this guy. Look at these blacks. Look at these black motherfuckers. This had to get rid of fucking Malik. These blood motherfuckers come in here. They think they can run this space. <laughs> He's got his fucking, he's got his fucking, you know, he's got, he's got his January 6th haircut going on there, right? Brennan's got his little Jan 6th haircut. Like, what's going on here, right? These motherfuckers think they can come in our country eh? with no skills, <laughs> just a smile and <laughs> a smile and a good personality. <laughs> he's the happiness slightest. Oh, oh yeah. Big up Bill Sign Bellamy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're done. Bill Bellamy, everybody. <laughs> Look at look at Brian, look at Brian, the little cuck. Look at him, look at Brian, man. Oh, Brian's face here is fucking amazing. <laughs> it's like a little child. Oh, but big up Bill Bellamy, man. You're an absolute G. I love how he just walked out there. To be fair, it could be, it could it usually is quite awkward at the end of pods, um, depending on fucking you know how they do it and shit. But yeah, big up Bill, like. What people saying in the chat? Uh, Bill, like when you finally get that eight ball and can leave the trap. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. You have to. You're, you're done with all the fucking small talk. You know, asking your dealer about this and that, or the fucking local. You know, whoever nitties are in there talking their shit. You got your stuff. You're ready to go back home. Pour yourself out a little bit of whiskey and get fucking naughty. And he, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, mate, that was fucking brilliant. Big up Bill Bellamy, man. Big up Bill Bellamy. Absolute amazing guy. Oh, my God. That was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> he didn't even wait. Too much ambling comments. But honestly, the, 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 there was a point in time where the fire and the kid was the place to be. But now it's just like another stop on the fucking, you know, on the train of, What's that thing called? Of PR, right? When you're doing PR for whatever Bill Bellamy is doing PR for. Maybe he's got a special album, I'm not really too sure. Because I think he was on Tiger Belly recently. So it's just never stopped that you go on now. It's not, no one really gives a shit. No one really respects them because they're Rogan's friends anymore. You know what I mean? So that kind of, um, that allure they once have is definitely, definitely gone. So people just go there, do the show and kind of leave. So it kind of is what it is. And I think, I'm not really too sure. What do you guys think? I know... Oddly enough, Ari Shafir gets a bad reputation, or has a bad reputation, for you know some admittedly bad things. But I know him to be the only comedian who I've heard of who pays his guests. I know on his show, his podcast, which is honestly one of the best out there, um, he does some really good interviews and kind of you know stories and shit about his travels. But he actually gives his guests like two hundred. I think it's like two hundred pounds, two hundred dollars or something. I guess I come with his pod, but I don't think other pods pay their guests, do they? What do you guys think? I don't think they do pay. 
but I'm sh- I, I definitely know Ari Shafir does. It's like a thing that he does. He likes to give um, his fans, um, you know, sorry, um, people that come in and kind of be guests on his show, especially if they're struggling comics and stuff, you'll give them that like, $200 of shit, which is fucking awesome. And you, it's sick as well because a lot of people that he gets on there are legit, you know, stand-ups who, you know, aren't the most famous people in the world. And you can see, you know, how happy they are to get that $200 because that can go a long way in terms of like, you know, making sure you cover your nut for the week or for the month, especially if you've got enough gifts going through. So it's quite nice to see him paying them for their time and shit. But I think other guests, other shows probably don't do that. I doubt T5K is paying guests. So if you're not paying me, I, I'm going to leave when I want to leave. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's be for real. If I'm gone, I'm gone. You know I mean, just do or do like a Wings of Redemption thing. Wings of Redemption when he's playing fucking Rainbow. Uh, was it right? Ra- is it Rainbow? Is it Rainbow that fucking shooting game? Um, Wings of Redemption. If he's not having a good game or he's not enjoying himself, he just ducks out of the lobby. He doesn't even say bye to his team. You know, so usually when you're playing those type of games, you say bye, hey guys, I'm off now. I'm a bit tired. I need to go to sleep or whatever. He doesn't say nothing. He just turns off his computer and exit the game. Doesn't say a fucking word. I think that would be um pretty cool <clears throat> thing to do if you was on the pod. You just get bored of what they're talking about. You just think, you know what? You just turn off your fucking mic and you fucking, <laughs> you disconnect, <laughs> disconnect from the chat, disconnect from the call. 